Hey, everybody. Um, so welcome to my live stream today. My name is LaShawn Jenkins with the Notary Institution. And today's video, I'm actually going to talk about um, should notary signing agents sign up for 100, 100 signing companies. And I'm making this video in reference to, you know, a lot of signing agents, um, when they actually start their business, they're always asking, how many companies should I sign up with? Which signing companies I should sign up with? who's giving work, et cetera, et cetera. You know, so many questions about signing companies and exactly, you know, how many should you sign up for? Um, should you sign up for a handful or just a few? So as you all come in and as we wait uh, for, you know, social media to notify everyone about um, the live stream that's happening right now. Um, but I see, so I have some people here. Hey, Miranda. Uh, oh yeah, Miss Belt. Ms. Belthrop, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, Ms. Linda. Um, hey, Crystal from Atlanta. And as you all come in, um, make sure you tell me where you're watching from um, because I, I love to you know, know where my audience is at. And also I take keep notes. Uh, Ms. Dobbins from Ohio or Ms. Teresa. Um, Ms. Cleo from Fort Pierce. If I'm not mistaken, that's Florida, correct? Correct. Wash hands. Wash lands. I, I never heard of that, but how you doing, uh, Ms. Nikita? North Carolina, Georgia, Georgia always showing out. Uh, Alabama, how y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Oh, she let me make sure. Am I live in the Facebook? Right, all right, I'm live in the right group. Um, so I just wanted to just um tell you all about how many signing companies. Miranda uh, from Florida, Florida showing out everywhere. Because I'm gonna be honest with you all, guys. I just actually was live on Instagram, um, not too long ago, and there Florida showed out. Uh. <laughs> Florida showed out. Atlanta showing out a little bit too. You know, Georgia showing out, but I can definitely say Florida been showing out. Hey, Tim, uh, Thomasina, how you feeling? All right, guys, I'm not going to spend too much time, but make sure keep telling me um, where you all at, and you know, I, I I'm going to see it. So I wanted to just talk about um, how many signing companies you should sign up for. Now, when I had first um, was doing loan signings, to be honest with you all, I was struggling just like everyone else. Um, I was in the Facebook groups, you know, um, I was in the Facebook groups trying to find different signing companies to sign up for. Mind you, I paid for training. Um, the training course that I purchased, they actually gave a list, but I was like, mm, bump that list. <laughs> I said, bump that list. People in this group talking about they getting work, making money. Um, what I did was I was like, well, let me see what, um, what companies they working for. And I was signing up, you know, for companies as I seen them in the Facebook group, to be honest with y'all. And when I was doing that too, um, I really wasn't working. I wasn't busy. I wasn't receiving um, any type of loan signings like that. Not a lot of them. Um, I received like a few notifications from doing that, but I wasn't receiving work. And at that time, um, I had a friend and they used to always call me out, be like, hey, do you got a, a loan sign today? You know, and I used to be like, no, <laughs> I don't. And then they kind of like, you know, uh, pulled me to the side. I was like, you know, maybe you need to figure out how to get work. And so I regrouped and um, I thought back to the list that was given to me. Um, and then that, that list that was given to me, I realized that, okay, so these are all the signing companies. And with that particular list that the woman, um, I had took a Carol Ray course. Um, notary to pro. And with her list, you know, she said that it's a list of people that she has vetted. These companies hire her graduates and everything. So I was like, okay, let me actually take my time and sign up for these companies on her list. And I signed up, it honestly probably took me about two weeks to sign up for companies. Um, and that's all I did all day, like literally signing up for companies. Cause anyone in here um, who has signed up for some signing companies, you know how time consuming that could be. You know how that is. Uh, that's not, um, it's not for the weak hearted um, or the faint hearted, I should say. You know, if you, if you know you're going to have a breakdown, like sign up for the sign companies, you might need a shot, you know, just to get yourself through it a little bit because it's, it's a lot of work. Um, but, <laughs> you know, not to really go all into that, um, you know, I, I signed up for the companies and Honestly, after I signed up for the signing companies, I started receiving notifications and not notifications only from SnapDocs. I was receiving notifications from Notary Cafe. I thought that website didn't work, um, but I started receiving notifications from there. And then also I started receiving emails 
from different companies, loan signing companies. I mean, not loan signing companies, signing companies. And I'm going to tell you the truth. Honestly, I've seen my real results literally when I started signing up for when I signed up for all those companies. When I spent two weeks to sign up for those companies, I literally had got my results. Now, let's say let's give you a little small timeline. So I remember I got commissioned in February and then I did do a long signing. March was probably when I get out. March was the time frame where I actually was like, okay, let me start signing up like the end of March. So really like April was when I was like that time I was signing up for companies. Honestly, I was booked and busy by the end of April and that whole entire summer. I was, I was, I was good. I was, I was good on signings like to where so I could turn signings down. Um, it was like to where the point where honestly, I was receiving notifications every day. Um, rather it be via text or email. I was always receiving some type of notification from some company for a loan signing. And I'm here to tell you all it's very, very, very important for you to sign up for as many signing companies as possible. Um, but you know, I am going to talk a little bit about signing companies a little bit, and also to try to help, um, notary signing agents understand exactly how signing companies truly work. Um, <clears throat> let's see, I'm going to hop in the comments. <laughs> uh, yeah, Miss Thomasina, she is all, she is on the scene, but you know what about Thomasina, what I love about her, because she's a huge, um, supporter, um, so I, I love to see her everywhere. Same thing as you, Miss Miranda. I love to see y'all everywhere because it means you truly support, you know, um, the YouTube people. You know, you really support people who are putting out valuable information. So I'm forever grateful for that. Um, so this, so Miss Crystal Davis, I won't really answer your question also. Um, so she said, I need a list for Georgia. So I won't give you a reason why this, this right here is the exact reason why you have to sign up for as many signing companies as possible. Hey, Miss Cynthia, how are you? The reason why you have to sign up for as many signing companies as possible is because not all signing companies are, signing com some signing companies, how about, they don't give work just based upon one particular area, if that makes sense. So one, a signing company can be considered nationwide. And when that's, when it's nationwide, that means that they open their doors to receive assignments from different companies in different states. And <clears throat> sometimes some companies don't receive much work from certain states. Some areas are busier than others. And then also some of the signing companies only may receive work from certain, from certain areas. Um, some like, so for example, one signing company, this signing company may receive a lot of work for people in New Jersey. The same signing company may not issue out a lot of work for Georgia, or they may not have a lot of connections down there. Um, just depending on the signing company. That's why I tell people to sign up for as many as you can, because to be honest, there's no way that you truly would know if they're given assignments to, if they have a lot of assignments in that particular state. Um, sometimes people try to base it off the Facebook groups, but it's really hard to do that because sometimes with signing companies, when they're si assigning assignments, they may be assigning that assignment based upon that person. You know, maybe that person has been working for a while and they really like the work they give. So honestly, they might be like, you know what? I'm just going to keep my little 10 and my 10 notary signing agents that I have in Georgia. They're going to do all my closings. And that's pretty much what you call like the preferred notary signing agent list. Um, I got to go my mouth. <laughs> Hold on. I want to take that out. I feel like I'm talking and it's about to fall out. Um, <clears throat> anywho, so with the, so with the signing companies, the goal is to always to get on that preferred notary signing agent list. Um, and with that preferred notary signing agent list, what happens is whenever there's any assignments that that signing company receives in that particular area, they are going to make sure that you, that they, that they notify you. They're going to see if you're available first before they go out and send it to snap docs and push it out to the whole world. You're going to get your, you are going to receive an email specifically for you asking, are you available? Yada, yada, yada. And if you say yes or no, whatever the case may be, that is the goal. When you're working with signing companies, the goal is to get on that preferred notary signing agent list with the signing companies. And I'm going to tell you now, you're not going to get on that list if just because you sign up and do one assignment for them. And you, you really have to be 
um, accurate when you're doing these loan signings in order to get on that preferred list. You know, when you see those people that be like, oh, I'm not doing scam bass, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing all these things. You know, signing companies, if they if you just do what you're told, you're just going to get what you're told. That's just, you know, how the world uh, kind of operates. You know, you get what you put in um, pretty much. But hopefully that clarified how signing companies work um, for you, Crystal. So as far as like a list for a specific state, there um, there's none. There's no list for a specific state. Um, let's see, Houston said, yeah, because Arlene said, yeah, because I'm in New Jersey and I get work from California. Yeah, it, it it just depends on that signing company, to be honest. You know, it really depends on the signing company, on whom they actually built relationships with, if if that makes sense to you all. That's that's really what determines um, how many assignments is in certain areas, to be honest. Um let me see. I had some notes here for a second. Let me make sure I get all my notes. So I know people are probably wondering where they could find signing companies. To be honest, you can find signing companies are really easy to find. Now, if when you go out and you're trying to find these signing companies on your own, keep in mind, you're going to have to find the contact information. You're going to have to find how do you actually become a vendor for that signing company. Now, I do have a list here that I found on Facebook in the Facebook group. Only thing is you will have to um, make sure you vet through the list and find the contact information and sign up. But to be honest, the only way to truly get your results in this business is signing up for as many companies as possible. Like, I'm just going to be completely 100% honest and transparent. Like, there's no particular company that I'm like, I'm, I'm, I will never, I'm never going to sit up here and tell you sign up for this one, that one, that one, that. I'm going to be like, I'm going to, first of all, well, for all my students, whenever someone says they're not receiving work, the question I always ask them is how, I, I ask them how many sign up, I say, have you signed up for signing companies, right? I'm not asking anybody this really. When they say they're not receiving work, I say, what have you done? How many signing companies have you signed up for? This, the conversation normally starts off like this. Well, I'm on Snap Docs. And I signed up for um, Enrock and uh, she was another little popular one. And um, all I know is that <laughs> once when you start signing, once if you could name signing companies to me, I know you ain't signed up for enough. Like I just, I know you couldn't have, there's no way. Because when you are in that grind and focusing and just signing up and signing up, you not really keep a track of everybody you signing up for, like on top of your head. Unless I mean, it depends on your memory. I know my memory is um my memory not like that. Can I get a signing buddy? What's a signing buddy? Uh, Resi author. Well, what is that? I never heard of that. I'm about to put the list in here, everyone. So I didn't want um, no one to forget. But I was I was in the middle of talking. Um. This is ch -ch -ch -ch. Uh, I'm going to find this list that I had. It's just a list I found on Facebook. You know, a nice little free list that should take out all the work of you uh, going on the Internet trying to find it. And another thing, too, you know, I want people to keep in mind is that so say if you have, you know, I know we all get into this and sometimes we do tend to compare ourselves to others and what they're getting, and what they're doing. And sometimes, too, if you're in an area, let's say you'd be like, well, she's getting all these assignments. Sometimes you really don't know what that person could have put on their vendor application. You know, some people be um, telling little white fibs on theirs. Um, also, too, you know, you don't know the type of relationship that that notary signing agent has built with that signing company um, to receive all the work. You know, um, there's so, for example, there's people, let's say, like example prime example is me i could receive a lot of i could receive honestly a lot of um notifications i can literally call someone else right now and be like hey girl did you get did you see that notification today and they're like what notification you know they not everyone is, is receiving the same assignments and really for me it, it's always different because i already have a report and i built a relationship towards though they will just send me things, you know, versus they may not send it to everyone else. Um, sometimes they may not send it to new people and stuff like that. But the goal is for every notary signing agent that's working with signing companies is to get on that preferred notary signing agent list. So that way, 
you can receive the notification first um, before everybody else. And then also too, not only receive the notification first, you will receive more closings um, than anybody else. If like once when once when you are preferred notary sign the agent for a signing company, like this is what they're gonna do. If they really like you, they're going to one, they're gonna call you first. <laughs> they're gonna call you before they even send out an email, they're gonna call you, be like, hey, are you available? Or something like that, they're gonna call you. Um, or they most likely going you're gonna get a private email like, hey, hey, so and so, you know, your name, are you are you available for a closing? If not, um, it's okay. You know, towards the, like when you turn down an assignment with that something company, they're not going to hold it against you or nothing. They just going to be like, oh man, that, my favorite not available. It's cool. That will be on the next one. Uh, let me see. Huh? I'm, I'm about to put this list guys because I'll have up here and find this. Let me see. I got it in my Google document, I think. Uh, let me see. So to me, uh, Thomasina said, I love that list. I went out the door with signings to get them. Yes, Thomasina. Yes. Are you talking about the link that I share? Like a few months. I shared this like back in December, I think. December, November. And she is right. You do have to do the work. Like, you know, I'm honestly, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm so happy that everyone is starting the business. Like, I'm happy that everyone is finally taking everyone woke up and smelled the uh start drinking the coffee, you know, and I'm so happy, you know, but also keep in mind that with this business. You know, it is an easy thing to do in a way, but also it does require hard work. Um, it does require you to take time and actually, you know, sign up for companies, um, invest into some of that training equipment that you need. Um, it, it, it is a, an investment, um, to be honest. It's a, it's a real investment. Oh, OK. So it is that one. Hold on. I think I have the link. Yeah, Thomasina's uh pretty sweet. You know? Where is that list? I can't find it. I know it's here because someone actually had asked about it. And another thing with signing companies too. Now, I won't be honest with you, you know, just like in every business. Um, how can I put it? There's always some bad apples. <laughs> There's always some bad apples, but um, there there are signing companies that don't pay. You know, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. There are signing companies out here that are not paying um, notary signing agents, and that's okay. They don't have to pay. I don't gotta work either. You know, we go hand in hand. We're a team. Um, <laughs> you know, so whenever you encounter situations like that, you know, I know there's like a Facebook group out there where um, you could find a uh, Signing companies that don't pay, but I want to tell you the truth. In my experience, I haven't um, experienced that, and I'm I'm a firm believer of a person of like energy. So I ain't gonna I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I personally feel as though if I was to focus on all the companies that don't pay me, like for example, I woke up and I went to Facebook group like, hey, what companies don't pay me? I truly feel like that energy gonna come back to me, and I'm only going to. Um, receive work from companies that don't pay. So I always would, I would take a little note when somebody said this company don't pay, I would just take a little note and keep it moving. But I don't really put my energy onto them. Um, simply because to be honest, I just don't want that energy here and I don't want to really experience that. So I always focused on signing companies that did pay me. And those are the ones I focus on. So here's the link right here. So this is the link here for, <clears throat> for the signing companies. Um, if you're in a Facebook group or if you're on Facebook right now, you probably won't be able to see or click the link. Um, but you can always go onto the YouTube channel and other institution and you'll see the link. Yeah, Facebook didn't post it. Um, let me see, someone asked. I just shared the list, Mr. Um, Gigi or Gigi. Hey, Griffin. Griffin, I commented on your video. <laughs> I did share with you, uh, Thomasina, I shared the list with her. Let me see. Um, I'm ready to invest. Would you ready to invest in Mr. Uh, Miss? I think you're a miss. I'm sorry. I can't really see the picture, but I know it says Ray Carolyn Stevenson. Uh, let's see. Yes. Great advice. So <clears throat> back to the signing coming list. 
Uh, which video? The one with about the training one, I think, or something. I want to do a video with you. I think it was talking about training, though. The one from yesterday, I believe. Anywho, who? Um, <laughs> Bath & Sonic Companies. So there's bad apples out there, which is all right. Um, another thing about the Sonic Companies, you know, I want people to be fully aware of what happens in this business. Um, some of the Sonic Companies, they do low ball, which, you know, to each its own. Um, that's why I feel like it's so important to sign up for as many as you can, because if you sign up for as many as you can, not all of them are low balling, to be honest. But when you only sign up for a few, of course, you're only going to see, you know, just a, a few of them, you know, giving them low ball offers. Um, somebody in Nevada in my business. Um, let me see another thing about signing companies. Um, black, you know, oh, Griff, since you're here, you're you're the one that made the video about um the black ball, the blacklisting, right? If I'm not mistaken. So, Griff, can you type in the con? Because I want to tell you my opinion on the black, um, on the black, the blacklisting, black. I call it blackballing, you know, whatever getting canceled. Um, cause I'm a millennial. So, you know, our terminology a little bit different, but, um, people do talk about signing companies. Um, basically you can be blackballed in the industry to where, so you will never receive any type of work. Now, part of me, I just, I, I just find it so hard, I guess. Maybe I'm not aware. Um, to where I mean, I guess in my mind, I just, there's so many signing companies out there and there are signing companies that are literally that have been built. Like, for example, I know I have a friend here where I'm located at where she created a signing company. I known her for a while. She created a signing company based off of a relationship that she had with the title company. Now, no one knows that even knows about her signing company, but like her friends and some of the people that she hired, you know, that me and her knew. You can't tell me I'm blackwalled from her. You know, because she's not big. So I just don't get the black ball thing because I feel like there's so many signing companies out there um, to where so I could see you, you know, not getting work from some of them, especially if some of them are all, you know, intertwined with each other. But I just don't I just I just have to see it, um, to be honest. So the main thing is I'm hearing from signing companies that notaries are not doing the basics that notaries should do. So just to speak on that Griff too, um, so a lot of people are jumping into this business and I get it. You're excited. You're motivated. I'm motivated for you, but let's, let's, let's take it back a few steps. Um, some people are hopping in and they're messing up. And the thing is when, when you're making these huge mistakes like this, and I mean, they're making like this minor stuff that a lot of us seasoned people know, or people who've been in the business know not to do. So like, I'm going to give an example. Um, for example, someone does, you know, printing off a loan package on double sided, you know, things like that are happening to us. So now that those things are happening, it is harder now as a newbie to try to get into a signing company because now they have to put up all these um, prereqs before they hire people. Now they do want, now it's like, they're not taking notary signing agents who just started yesterday. You know, um, when people are making these careless, I call them careless mistakes, um, when people are making these careless mistakes, you just typically, all what you're doing, typically doing is making it harder, um, for anyone else to join that signing company. Now this signing company is making, you know, they have all these, um, prereqs to join. And then not only that, when you make mistakes, honestly, it's not, it's not, it's not, um, it's not only you, you know, you might mess up a contract deal that that company have, um, that the company may have with the title company, like you really can mess a whole entire deal um, up that that's going on to where so now just because that that one notary signing agent, just say if this title company, I mean, this signing company, right? This title company feed them. I mean, they giving out millions of assignment assignments to notaries, right? And let's say they have a, a lot of notaries just keep making mistakes, messing up. To where as though it's causing them to be delay on the documents, delay on the closings. And to be honest, that's that title company. But like, you know what? This sign of company used to be good, but I don't know what happened to them. And they're going to cut them off. So when they cut that sign of company, y'all, what does that mean? That means no work for notaries. 
Um, so that's why it's so important for us to really not just don't come in here and just um, doing whatever, um, trying to figure it out. And like, honestly, just get knowledge, like just seek the knowledge and really try to understand it. Like, don't get in here just trying to make quick money. Um, Because when you try to get in and make quick money, you start making mistakes. Um, Veronica said, what are the basics? So an example of the basics is, like I said um, before, printing the documents off um, double sided or, for example, Let's say you take a long signing appointment. I, I even had I, I've even seen situations where people take an appointment and then they call the borrower and tell them and say, "Hey, um, I can't meet to I can't meet you till eight o'clock or something like that." Like what? Like how? <laughs> like you took the assignment? Like that don't even make sense, you know? Like but little stuff like that is what messes like messes up messes um, mess with the signing company. To be honest, um, that's that's one example. Um, not following none of the instructions that the signing company give you. Um, for example, drop dropping off documents whenever you feel like it. You know, um, some people be feeling like they could drop these. Like, for example, right? If you have a signing at eight o'clock in the morning, there's no reason why that you don't have that document going out that day to FedEx. There's no reason why you should be dropping it off the next day. Um, for pickup at 6 30. So basically you'll get there Wednesday, you know, um, stuff like that, you know, like little stuff like that really matters. Cause that messes up the closing. Um, let me see. I want to look in the comments. There's no print on two sides. It, people are printing on two sides to be honest. And I'm not sure why, but they're doing it. Is it, is it a good idea to have EO insurance when you have no work? We mean no work. You're not receiving no assignments. Um, Ms. Gigi or Ms. Gigi. Let's see. Griff named up a few. Um, notarizing docs correctly. Show up on time. Ship on time. Scan backs. Fix errors that you did. And you know that's another thing. Um, making errors. Now I'm gonna be honest. People are going to make mistakes. You know, but sometimes people. So if you make a mistake on a loan closing, right? and a signing company contacts you to get that fixed, that is your responsibility to get that fixed on your dime. Um, some people will say, oh, well, they need to pay me if they want me to go out there, but you messed up. So because you messed up, you need to go out there. You need to be man or woman enough and take responsibility for your mistakes and go out there and, um, and fix that mistake and correct it and then make sure you don't let it happen again. Just because you make a mistake doesn't mean a sign company is not going to work with you. Now, is a, they look at how you fix the mistake in a timely manner as soon as possible. Yes, here, Miss MS Mobile Notary. Yes, you must. Um, if you make a mistake, you must own up to it. Agreed. Uh, learn, I say, learn your state laws. That's important. That's that's important. Um, while people email signer documents. Yeah. Um, I guess let me see. I don't think I understand your question, Ms. Blue Scorpio. I'll be honest with you. Um, another basic is printing with laser printer, giving copy of docs to signer instead of emailing to them. Oh, that's what she's talking about. So I don't know. I was always maybe it's a new trend, but I was always told um as far as copy. So after you finish the loan closing, um, after you finish the loan closing, right. And let's say the borrower, well, I want a copy of my documents. Now, mo there are instructions normally in there that tell you how that is going to be handled. And, um, sometimes it might be a form in there, but normally the title company handles that portion of it. And if, when I was in situations where somebody was like, am I going to get copies of this? Um, to be honest, how I would combat that, um, Answer is first of all, I addressed that at the very beginning of the closing. Like at the in my introduction that I do at the closing table, I tell you right then and there that you're gonna sign. Okay, so I have two copies here. I have one unsigned copy that will be yours, and then this signed copy will get um mailed off to the title company, and then I tell them that the title company um will have a way for you to receive the signed copies. Now, if you would like to know exactly how, if they start asking questions about when I receive it, I'm just going to call a title company. You know, I'm I'm not even going to go get into it um, because this is how it operates. You know, um, I've been in, I heard about students saying that um, 
the borrower made them sign both of the copies. Like, no, 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 no. We don't do that. You know, in this business, you really do got to be firm and let people know what it is. Because if not, they're just going to walk all over you. Um, Let me see, Miss. Ooh, I'm not going to try your name. Um, Let's see. How likely is that if you make a mistake, they'll call you to fix it versus calling someone else? Let, to be honest, it's it's a, a 99. It's a 99. 0.9% chance that they're going to call you back. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Because the thing is, if they, so if they got to call someone else to fix your mistake, they got to pay that person more. They got to pay that person. So um, to be honest, they're most likely, if you mess up, they're going to call you. I'm I'm going to guarantee they're going to call you. If it's real, if it's real bad, trust me, they're going to call you. They're going to email you. And then while they doing all that, they take, they writing notes. They making sure like, oh yeah. This girl, mm -mm, nope, nope, nope. She did this, and depending on people move too. I'm telling you, though, like they gonna call you if you mess up. If you mess up on the loan closing really bad, they're gonna call you to get that fixed. Especially with the signing companies and the title company, they're going to call you. Now, what they ain't gonna do, they're not gonna run around with you. If you're not able to fix that mistake or correct it when they need it done, then to be honest, then they be like, you know what? Have a good day, ma'am. And then they're going to go into the next notary signing agent and they're going to take note like, OK, you know what? I'm never going to use that person ever again. And that's just how it works. Um, oh, he was talking about I'm talking about notaries not giving an unsigned copy. What? People are doing that. Oh, 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 no. That's shocking. And that's another thing that's happening, too. So. All these little things that happening, that is what makes signing companies so much stricter. Um, they make it so strict now to join because of this little tedious, like this little mistakes like this. Um, wow. And a lot of it just really honestly, while people doing that, I'm just going to put um, Griff up, comment up here, you know, to be honest, like people are emailing unsigned copies to signers. You're not supposed to do that. Um, yes, you do provide unsigned copies to the borrower, but the paper, you, it's not your responsibility to email it to them. Um, I, no, I seen someone saying it, that they can do that, but no, you don't do that. Mm -mm. Um, I was trained to provide an unsigned copy, uh, unsigned copy at the training, uh, at the sign, at the closing. Um, let's see. So Ms. Nini, she said, you should take time after the closing to sit in the car and go through your docs, less mistakes. Absolutely. And actually, I, I tell people, um, hey, Sharika, uh, Sharika or Sharika, I'm sorry. Um, I say do it at the table. You know, it doesn't take long to go through the documents, make sure that you didn't miss nothing or anything like that, to be honest. It don't take long at all. Um, as long as you have like a nice little system going on, it doesn't take long to review those documents. Hey, uh, Griff, let me see. I'll make sure I miss no comments. Um, so with those kind of, those mistakes and that people are making, to be honest, that's what makes it hard for the signing companies, um, to be honest. And then like, oh, here, I missed this one. <laughs> Notaries marking up documents. Um, people are doing that, trying to get unjustified pay crease. <laughs> Girl, you going there? You all right? <laughs> that is true, you know. And to be honest, if you know that you that I look at it like this: if you know that you are making all these mistakes, please do not request no pay increase. Them, I know the people they're gonna be like, really, you know. If but if you know that if you are a good notary signing agent, you get these documents on time, go above and beyond, and you you really do it. And, and you on that preferred list, go ask for the increase. But please don't ask for the increase if you know that you're not even doing these closings right. You know, please don't. And um, I want to go back to Miranda. Yeah, double-sided is, that that's cheap. And again, that's one of them lazy. That's lazy. That's just people being lazy, not really taking their business seriously. And they just trying to make that quick money, um, to be honest. You know, now, I, now, for the copies, there's been times that I probably printed all on legal. Or all on letter. As long as nothing was cut off, I will do it. Um, but to be honest, I always recommend if you're printing loan documents, print them off the same way. Um, print the borrower copies the same way as you print the sign the ones that they're signing. Let me see. 
Um, let's see, Pharrell speaks. Oh, that ain't Pharrell. I'm not even going to try it. So um, I did my seller. I did my first seller closing today, and there was a form that told them what to do to get email documents. Ooh, to get email documents, or they could opt out. Right. Hold on. Let me. Um, I had something fall over here. You know? I gotta get my chair up. All right. So yes, absolutely. So their the title company handles that portion of it, or the lender, or whoever. Somebody handles that. Um, to be honest. So that's why we, we don't, that's not our job. We don't need to do that. And we shouldn't do that. And if you are in a situation, Hey, Katrina, if you are in a situation where a borrower tells you what you should do, blah, 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 you do not need to argue with no borrower period at all. You don't need to argue with them. Just be like, look, ma'am, you need copies. Tell them how it works. If they don't like your answer, like, look, ma'am, what I could do for you is I can just get them on the phone and see when you don't get these copies. You know, because one thing I ain't, I ain't I'm not going to argue with nobody at no table. And now I'm not going to argue with nobody in that house either. You know, I'm just I just don't have the time for that. Um, Here, Griff. Griff, thank you. Giving all the little tippies. <laughs> Another one is not signing the date of the documents and doing it the next day because they're overbooked or tired. We mean they don't put the date on there. Oh Lord. And another thing too that I know I seen um somebody uh said Salithia. People are not some people are not taking the business seriously. So because they're not taking the business seriously, I feel like it's my duty to educate people so that they can take it seriously and truly understand that it's not just about you. Um when you're when you're doing these loan documents, like honestly. You're, it's not about you. It's not, you're not the only person in the transaction. The first person who it is really about is a, is the borrower. That's, that's who our main priority is. And then after the borrower, then you can go to the signing company. And then the signing company is making sure that the title company, you know, it's, it's not just you in this process. So when you mess up, you, you, you messing up for real. Like everybody is affected, not just you, you know, it's, it's really, it's really serious. Um, right, <laughs> right. Contact the uh signing company, contact time. Yeah, when people get upset, I won't tell you now. I, I don't, I never really had that issue to be honest because, like, I feel like I never truly had that issue only because, like, I'm I'm pretty just set the standard the minute Mr. Gigi. I put the list in here, here, it's right there. Um, I put it right there in the um chat. But to be honest, I never had that situation of someone really getting upset at the signing table because when I come in, I set the expectations right there, right then and there. Like I let them know what it is. If we got questions, you know, because really I, I put it like we in this together, you know, saying we we in this together. So when you got a problem, I got a problem type of thing, you know. So I I set the expectations of the closing literally right at the table, right then and there. And normally, honestly, since I have, when I do that, because when I didn't do it, that's when I had like little issues, people reading everything and doing all this extra stuff. But I set the expectation right then and there. I tell them how the process is going to work, how things are handled. Um, if they got questions that I, I, I make them feel open. Like, so if something, if, if we have a question or something that you don't understand, you know, I had the company, we can call somebody. And we can hash it out right then and there, you know, period. Like we, we're not even like, we're not going to be at this table going back and forth with each other. You know, we, we, we all going to call the same person, um, that pretty much called you, you know, we all going to be on phone together. And that's how I hold, that's how I was holding closers. Like, to be honest, I was just, we, we all in this together. Um, let's see. So, Hey, Veronica, uh, I'm going to read your stuff in a second. Hold on. I just want to make sure I don't miss nothing. Um, all right. So Veronica said, I went over the doc several times before the signing at the table. And again, before I scanned them and still had a mistake, they emailed me. I stamped the doc, scanned the next morning, sent it back. I got a notification from them today. I feel better now. Oh, Veronica, I'm happy that they uh, still work with you. But to be honest, the thing is, even though you made a minor mistake, 
you know, you corrected that mistake. Like you, you, you took it to put, you felt, I don't know, you probably, maybe you might feel like me, but I know when I make it my a mistake, I really make it my personal, it's like real personal to me. Cause I'm like, oh my God, I gotta, I gotta fix this. You know what I'm saying? And you took that, you took the personal responsibility to fix your mistake. So of course they're going to call you back. Um, let me see. All right. So for payment invoices, so the confirmation, um, normally for signing companies, you don't really have to send out an invoice, um, to be honest. Um, okay. So Ms. Martinez said, I had a borrower vent to me about the numbers were wrong. I got on the phone to sign a company. They were happy to get it resolved and they signed all pages. Right. I'm telling you, once when you open that door of like, sometimes you just have to make the signing for a person, they want to feel like, okay, you know what? This person is here. If something's going on, we got somebody that we can call. And me, I'm I'm like them at the timetable. table. Somebody don't answer, I'm gonna find a number. Somebody gonna answer my phone call. You know, somebody gonna answer my phone call because I'm I'm with them. Um, to be honest, I'm like, shoot, somebody gonna answer the phone tonight. You know, I don't I don't do too well with the not answering. Now, if it's late at night, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be like, we probably can't get nobody. Um, let me see. Miranda said it's like making a hair appointment at 11 a.m. Then you get a call the day before starting stating your appointment won't happen until 7 p.m. Correct. And a lot of no notaries are doing that when they take these assignments for some reason. Um, I had nothing but much success. Well, kudos to you, Mr. Auburn. Uh, thank you for taking the time to educate us. I want to know what I need to be doing. Absolutely. You're welcome. You know, um, you know, sometimes I can sit and just complain, but you know what? I'm going to educate. I'm just going to inform everybody on what's going on. Um, <laughs> Griff, I'm not fooling with you tonight. You know, I'm, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not fooling with you tonight. Some notaries are trying to build the sign service like they would a direct company. Griff, we not fooling with you tonight. No, sir. We, we're not playing with you tonight, uh, Mr. Griff. You know, we, we not doing it, Griff. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Some notaries are doing that because to be honest, they don't understand and it's okay. You know, it's okay. I want to tell you now, normally if you get an assignment from the signing company, you do not have to invoice them. Now, what you can do, and I say this so that way you can manage your books and it will help you, um, you know, be organized. And so you could track what companies paid you and didn't pay you yet. If you have some type of, um, I know a lot of people use either Notary Assist, Notary Gadget, or Notary Earth to track their loan signings in, um, you can put that information in there in your accounting system. It's just to help you track everything. That's it. You know, but really, if you get an assignment from a signing company, you do not need to invoice them uh, most of the time. Now, if they're an official signing company, the only people that you need to really invoice is um, clients. Like if you get work directly from somebody, um, let's see, Mr. Gigi said, why would they do that? They do it. Cause they don't know. They don't know. And it's all right. You know, this video was created so people can know a little bit how the process work, you know? Um, cause I, I just, it's nothing like jumping into an industry and not truly understanding how everything works. And I know that happened for me a little bit. Now, I, I, I am a little wise, I should say, so there's certain things I won't do, um, but there's certain things, honestly, I really probably wasn't fully aware of, you know, especially when it came to the signing companies. You know, I really well, I wasn't fully aware of, like, them taking forever to pay, um, to be honest. Like, I really wasn't. I wasn't, I was not fully aware that some of these companies would be taking, like, 45 to 60 days to pay. Um, I wasn't that I wasn't aware for that. I was aware that I was getting a check, but I wasn't aware how long they can really pay um, for those checks. So I was told I think I was told maybe 30 days. I don't know. But I don't recall being told. I felt like I was a little blind, but it's cool. You know, um, hey, Sarah, Miss Israeli, I think that's your name. Um, Isha Bothwell. It's important to lead the appointment as a professional. Once you enter the door, the borrower has to follow. It's simply business. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, that is the key 
to actually taking control of that signing is honestly you owning it. Um, if you go on the signing table, I'm telling you, if you go on the signing table and you have your papers and you just, I mean, everyone has different personality. I get it. You know, we, I'm shy, you know, I am shy, but I ain't gonna lie, I don't be playing either. Um, I'm very shy, but I just don't be playing around either. You know, I'm, that's just how I am. Um, but, you know, when you go on the signing table, you need to be like, look, this is how it's happening. You know, um, this is who we're going to contact if we got any questions and that boom, just stay in the third. And another question I always ask um, before I start the signing, I always ask them, um, have you seen the documents before? Have you, is this, have you seen your closing disclosure already? You know, I always ask them that question so I can get an idea and a feel so I could know if I really need to have this number right here available um, next to me, to be honest. That's, I always ask that question so that I can see where the comfortable level um, for these borrowers and these signers. Where, well, for the borrowers, I want to see how comfortable they are signing um, because sometimes if they're not comfortable, you know, I, we have to try to get them comfortable, you know. Um, let's see. Mr. Pharrell. Damn. I mean, dang, <laughs> um, Mr. F is it Farrelly or Farrelly? Um, I had a seller that had done this like 10 times. That was kind of difficult to manage because they thought they were the experts. We spent a lot of time on the phone with the title company. See that in the case like that, we wasn't going to hang up the phone either. I was like, for when people think they being funny a little bit, um, I wanted to hang up the phone. I would tell, tell look, I said, look, I don't, we are just going to stay on this call and we're going to complete the rest of the signing just like this, um, to be honest. Um, let me see. I already read that. Ooh, question. The other day I was, the other day I was out, I was out. Oh, the other day I was in and out of a signing within 13 minutes. That's good. <laughs> That's really good. That's real good. What, what kind of signing was it? Okay, so I believe that's it we're going to talk about. I've been on here for about 45 minutes, if uh, not longer. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to give some clear understanding of signing companies and helping you understand how they work. Also informing you, you know, it does not hurt to sign up with 100 companies or more. Um, please do not go into Facebook groups and start cherry picking your way, picking only certain signing companies that you want to sign up with. Um, honestly, you really have to sign up for as many as you can, like seriously. And also, you know what, while you sign up for these signing companies, please make sure your profile is, is filled out completely. And, um, anybody on here is that, um, is on the clubhouse. It was one time I was in the clubhouse room and the signing company guy came up there. I don't even know who, who it was, but it seemed like all he wanted to tell us was, Guys, look, please, please fill out your profiles. Please have a completed profile. And he said, because when the profiles are not complete, he said, we skip over them. And to be honest, a lot of people don't fill out their profiles for some reason. So whenever you are signing up for a um, signing company, please make sure that you completely fill out your notary profile. Please, please, please do so that you won't get skipped over. Um Trina said refinance and she read everything. Dang, that was pretty good. 13 minutes. I don't know about that reading thing. I, don't, I can't deal with that a little bit. It get aggravating sometimes. I mean, I could sit there, but sometimes I'd be like thinking in my head, like, that's on it. If they want to sit here and read, like, I'm chilling in. <laughs> I'm not going to stress myself if they want to sit there and read. I don't like it, but I'm just going to chill. There for Rally. Mm, I won't have to hear you in person because I'm a little special when it comes to that. Um, I haven't, I haven't had my first time yet. Yeah, I read that. Yes, ma'am. I could tell you play no game. I love it. You're a straight shooter. Oh, thank you, Miss Stevenson. <laughs> oh, we don't have no Apple device. Oh, here, Mr. Griff. Um, here, he said, asked to be removed because a lady signer called me dyslexic because I misspoke her address. See, but see, sometimes, God, I won't be honest with y'all. Sometimes these borrowers, they, they be doing funny stuff, too. So, um, like, it's okay to be like, you know what? I'm not dealing with you, <laughs> you know? 
Um, you know, I know uh, who was that? Jerron told me a story about someone they wanted to know who he voted for, and they told him if he voted for a certain person that he couldn't um do the close it. Oh, Pharrell. Oh, he said that um somebody he they they the person they want him at the house or something. It was just some crazy stuff. But sometimes some of these borrowers be off the chain too, guys. Uh, here Thomasina said, "Run from Facebook, stick to the list being provided tonight." Absolutely, and now it's funny. I did get this list from a Facebook group. Um, Miss Stevenson said, "I need to learn more about notary before I move forward." Different companies. Um, the best thing, to be honest, I mean, when you mean notary, you mean me like general notary work or your state? Oh, I've been here for an hour. Let's check my Ooh. okay. So I'm gonna hop off anyway. So um just some announcements that we have coming up. So Friday, um, me and Samantha are gonna be doing the sign the sealed um series. Um, we're actually gonna go over protecting your notary business and your brand. So we actually have a special guest coming on that's gonna teach us about how we can protect our brand. And what I mean by our brand, guys, I mean our logos are um, business names. Um, right now we are in a space where notaries and people are, are feeling inspired and people are creating content. And I mean, people are doing all kinds of things out here nowadays. Um, so we decided to bring on somebody who can teach us how we can protect um, our digital assets that we do create. Um, because believe it or not, just like we have in signing companies who don't pay, you know, them bad apples, we got some bad apples in the in the community out here um, who are sometimes feel obligated to, you know, take someone else's content and, you know, sell it as if it's their own. Um, I have seen it happen to someone um, in our community. Um, someone was selling the Facebook. I mean, and they were selling someone's um, someone else's training in a Facebook group, you know. Um, so and not only just celebrating, you know, selling training. Um, sometimes people are taking up people's business names and logos and using it as if it's theirs. And, you know, there's legal aspects that cover, um, business. Like, honestly, you just can't just do whatever you want to do. Um, can't do whatever you, you can't do, whatever you want to do on the internet or nothing like that. So we're going to bring in an attorney on and she's going to like basically speak about, um, trademarking your business, your logos. Um, we're also going to go into, um, certain steps, on how you can actually truly protect um, your notary business. Um, <laughs> that is that is all um, I have for going on for right now. You guys, I wish y'all the best of luck with your notary sign agent journey. And I'll actually see y'all Friday. Um, what what y'all laughing at in the comments? Because I don't. I'm trying. I must have missed the joke. Oh, him being deflected, and then. Oh, Crystal, you on Clubhouse? I'm I'm on Clubhouse too. Hold on. Um I gotta pull up my Clubhouse name because I don't know it on top of my head. So just bear with me. But I know it's a notary institution. You can find me. Yes, you're welcome. Hello, Lamont. How are you? Oh, Lamont. Let me see something real quick. Hold on. I'm just gonna put on my Clubhouse name. Um, I believe it's at notary expert, if I'm not mistaken. And also on Clubhouse, I do a room every um every Saturday at 3 p.m. uh Central Standard Time. I do a Clubhouse room. Um, I do it with um me and a few guests. So I have um Miss Katrina Caldwell from Admin Mobile LLC. She's um a notary located in the state of Texas. Um, also I have Sue Hope. Um, from Notary Assist, we do, those are my uh, moderators. Um, also, who else? Um, Laura Buer is on the panel. And then also um, Phil Shannon, um, who's a representative of Legal Shield, but also he gives really great advice for notaries um, because he is, honestly, Phil is like the perfect person who knows how to network and market. Um, to be honest, and I, I learn a lot from Phil and I just apply it to what I'm doing now. Um, but we do those every Sunday at 3 p.m. Um, Central Standard Time. 
on the clubhouse. But I'm going to go ahead and go, guys. Y'all have an amazing night, and I'll see y'all all Friday. Um, hopefully, I'll try to hop on here and go live um, later on this week because it's only Monday. But you all, I wish you a good night. Bye.